Uh, Health Incorporated doing business as People's Republic, 878 Mass Ave. Tom and Vic Floor, all alcohol license 11686 for alleged overcapacity on January 18, 2019. People's Republic? Yes, me. Please come on up. Uh, if you can remain standing while you get sworn in, please, please raise sure. your right hand. Swear the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Could you please state and spell your names for the record? Uh, Philip, P H I L I P, at Blair, B L A I R. Thank you. Tyler Bubenik, B U B E N I K, Cambridge Licensing Investigator. Thank you. And we heard this on February 13th, but then there was a notice issue or it got lost in the mail, so we're having the rehearing today. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Bubinex. <clears throat> Originally, I did a routine inspection at People's Republic. It was Friday, January the 18th, 2019 at 11 p.m. At that time, I counted 123 people indoors. Their capacity is 99. Since that time, I've conducted a follow-up investigation. That one was September, or sorry, September, Saturday, March 2nd, 2019, also at 11 p.m. At that time, I found no violations. Okay. So, um, how many, 111? 123. 123. Capacity's 99. Mr. Blair? Um, I wasn't there on the night of question. Um, so I have no way of knowing how many people were in there. Um, the person on the door, Charlotte, s said she was counting people, but we only had a counter, at the time, we only had a counter that counted up, so she may have got confused. I don't think I had any defense, other than to say that she may have let in a few more people than she should have. What I do would like to say, though, is the rule, in the notice you, on your, in your, after the hearing, the last hearing, your verdict, I suppose, Same afterwards. Reasons, yeah. um, said that we were, it was a danger to life, that we were overcrowded by 24 people. Um, I would like to say that the, according to the building code, our room is big enough for 187 people by code. Um, the reason that our capacity is at 99 is because when, we, when I bought the business in 97, it was a capped area, liquor license cap. At the time I approached the then commissioner, um, if I'm correct, his name was Mr. Barnes, yeah. and uh, his, his direct, executive director, who was uh, Mr. Scally at the time, and I, I pointed out that the room was big enough for a bigger capacity, and they said they couldn't do anything about it because it was a liquor license cap. So the only reason I'm bringing this up is to say that nobody's life was in danger. Um, I've also got an architect to come in and draw up a plan of the room, and to review the code, and he's come back with a number of 187. Okay, uh, to be clear, it says occupancy limits are not set arbitrarily and failure to comply with them cause public safety issues which can be catastrophic. So that's exactly what the statement of reason says. Um, and that's wording that the board always uses in overcrowding type uh, because that is true. Uh, over occupancy limits are not set arbitrarily. Um, I do take note of what you're saying now. Um, and if you would like your capacity to be changed, I would, sum I would suggest that you submit your Already. plans and that they, al they also get submitted to zoning. And then if there are yeah. no zoning issues, the board can consider whether or not to increase your capacity. Um, I also want to note for the record that you had submitted an email with regard to this sort of saying the actions that you have taken since, and I don't know if you want to testify to them or if you just want me to. You could know if that's, yeah. Uh, it says that you have reinforced the importance of staying within the capacity to all your staff. Uh, you have begun a new policy of managers doing a head count on a regular basis. What do you mean by regular basis? So whenever it looks like it may be even close to the capacity, somebody goes around and counts. We bought new counters now that subtract. I think maybe that was the problem, that it was hard to to, you know, people coming and going, mm -hmm. we had a counter that only went up, but now we have counters that go up and down, you can subtract as well as that. Okay. And then it also says that you have also furnished your door people and managers with new counters, which is yeah. what you just testified to. Okay. And I'd also like to say that, you know, we've been in business since 97, and this is the first time we've ever had a problem in 21 years. I have the, if it's of interest, the, uh, the plan the architecture drew up with the capacity, the Massachusetts 
if you're gonna if you're gonna submit an application to increase your capacity, I suggest you just attach it to that application, okay. and then we have it all together. Okay. Thank you. And I'd like to apologize, even though it wasn't my fault, but I wasn't here in February. I mean, I, I checked my junk mail, I deleted mails, so I don't just don't see it anymore. Thank right. you. Um, I would find a violation, um, and considering the facts of this case, I would suggest um, a warning. I'm a great one. Uh, okay. Violation warning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.